Right, morning. Oh, music. Thanks, Bob. Morning. Uh, we're up and out the room already. I know, I say already, for us it's quite late. It's like 11 o'clock almost. But uh, our owner lo owner's locker got delivered today to the resort. Ready for us to pack. Um, and also for leaving here? Yes. And then it'll get picked up when we leave. We'll get bell service to pick up our bags in the locker. But Bob's carrying it on his shoulder. Big strong man. Where? <laughs> um, it's empty so it's not too heavy which is good obviously when we go to leave it's going to be full of stuff so we won't be carrying it when we're getting bell service to pick it up uh, but yeah today is Animal Kingdom so we've already booked a couple of lightning lanes we've got um, flight, flight passage. passage and Navi River Journey booked we did have um, Kilimanjaro safaris, but we didn't leave the house early enough for that. Oh, Multiple almost lizards. walked over three lizards. Cool. That's another one. Uh, so yeah, that, at the moment that's all we've got planned. We've got dinner at Boathouse this evening. Interestingly, the app, when you wake up in the morning, so like you've got a reservation at um, Disney Springs. Time to make your way to Disney Springs. I'm like, mm, my reservation's at 8pm and it's currently 8am. I don't need to be there 12 hours early. No. Isn't that no. So we will show you inside the owner's locker when we get back. Hit to the room quickly before we head out, and then we'll go and get the bus. Yep. When you get your owner's locker delivered, it is locked with a uh, tag. It's just broken yep. My yep. cameraman will open the box. Don't mind you go open the box. So you've got the two holes at the end where you lock tags onto when you finish with it. At this end you've got some spare ones. They give you four just in case. Presumably they topping up each time you... Yeah, but you only need two. There's like hooks on this end so you don't need to lock both ends. So it's just this end. It's got name on the side. I won't show all of that actually just in case. Um, we're not sure whether any of that information can be useful. So you get dividers. So you can stuff things in. We've got some information. And they give you a little multi-compartment box if you want to put like... Jewelry or tablets or... Yeah, or um, cotton bards, that type of thing. So we might put a few of each of those little bits in there that we've brought with us. Yep. The divider's are useful for if you've got a few bits that need to go in. But yeah, that's, that's all it is. It's a relatively good size. It's difficult to judge it, but you can see it's, it's quite big. I'm assuming that's got some information about it. Welcome phone is locker, blah de blah. It's probably uh, you got terms and conditions. Overview, membership, terms locker, use year, Jordan annual Bell. plan membership, plan and payment, it's fine. insurance Jordan. liability, cancellation, all the sort of stuff on the back, scheduling visits. Do's and don'ts. Yeah. Don't put anything illegal in your locker, so no <laughs> strangling your spouse, folding them up inside, things like that. This is don't Please don't put a wet bathing suit or little Timmy's smelly tennis shoes in your locker. Cool, yeah. Flat eight on there. Yeah, we'll be putting some bits in here and leaving it behind. I'm not quite sure what I'm leaving behind yet, but we'll see. Well, I brought a few of the snuggy shirts that, um, things like that in a minute that I'll probably leave here, because hopefully by the time we can, well, I lost a little bit more weight and they'll fit better. A couple of t-shirts, things like that. Just if anything ever happens to our luggage, um, on a flight over here, at least we'll have a couple of spare mm. t-shirts, a bit of underwear, things like that, and little bits like the cotton buds and toothpicks and that. Yeah, we'll make sure we get it delivered. Oh, I'm in the vest top. Don't like being on camera in the vest top. Uh, make sure we del get it delivered when we arrive. We didn't this time because we knew we had like to stay first. We didn't have anything in it yet because it was new. So yeah, we just thought we'd uh, get it delivered to this resort so we can fill it up. It says what resort you're in on the side at the time and you flip the card over when you're ready to check out and then you call bell services to take it down for you. There are, we've seen like a few different colours. There's the purple one, which I thought was the standard one. There's this one, and then there's apparently a red one Bob's seen. Well, no, there's a picture online. There's a picture online, so we're not really sure what they all mean. We don't know whether the blue one is a vacation club one. And could be different sizes. Yeah, it could be different sizes, we don't know. But yeah, that's it. So we're going to sort ourselves out and head off, ooh, head off to Animal Kingdom. Well, just for a change, every year we come and get down to King of up wearing the earlier chubby unicorns because I think it's mildly amusing.
Okay, Will's wearing the same t-shirt again, and he always wears that to run the kingdom. And I'm wearing a vest top with a shirt. I just took it off and came back to them because I was warm. Yeah, well, warm, so I didn't have a fan as I was carrying that, so I thought mm -hmm. it was toasty. Oh, that, that here as well. Here okay, yeah. First thing to go in. First donation to the box. Because they won't get, I oh, don't trust them to get back home. I can't these. put my ears in there because I'll be using them for you know, like, Disneyland yeah, Paris. Halloween parties. So. I know. <laughs> but for me, I use them in Disneyland Paris, so. Yeah, generic ears I'll take back home. But anyway, we ready to go? Yep. Bags are packed. That fan's on. Which we'll probably turn that off when we go. We don't really, I might leave it on low, I suppose. But yeah, door's locked. The best it can be because it's a bit damaged, but hey. Hurricane still is heading towards Florida for next week, so that's going to be fun. We'll see what happens. It might not hit, but we'll see. We might be locked in the room for a couple of days, but we'll see. But yeah, let's go to. Okay, cards, right? Ooh la la. Do you hear that vlog? You should get in the room. <laughs> Right, shall we get going to Manimal Kingdom? Manimal Kingdom? Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I always say I say it wrong. I go to say Magic Kingdom every time I go to Animal okay, Kingdom. Your tell, right? Let's go! Change of plan when it comes to my clothes. Change my vest top under my shirt because the one I had was light grey and was showing all the sweat already. And we've only been out for five minutes so I've got a darker one on. King of the bus. King of the bus. Queen. <laughs> I'm not a queen. Uh huh. So the bus goes around the resort with all the different stops. So we've just gone and it's empty. Which is good. It might not stay that way, but it is like approaching lunchtime, so everyone might already be in the park. Right, we made it into Animal Kingdom. Without any issues today. The bags didn't set off anything, which is good. Which I was surprised about. Uh, we've just done a. Um, Photo pass, which you will see because we may use it for the thumbnail or we'll insert it here. Mm -hmm. But our first ride is just, uh, just start again. Is it? Yeah, Flight of Passage, which is one of our favourite rides. Yeah, we love that. My favourite ride in the park. Yeah. Okay, we can't film on it, so you won't see any footage from us, unfortunately, on it. But we'll obviously tell you what it was like when we get off. It'll be just the same as every time when we get off. We're like, yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're just heading over this way. Oh, you need to stop, do you? Yeah. So okay. this is one twelve. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to stop because Bob needs to plug our current video that's just going up today on the our travel day on the 25th. Okay, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. Can everyone see me? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. You're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Na'vi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. Ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And, uh, and I'll see you in there. Later. Uh, remind me never to come and get lunch at lunchtime. It's a nightmare, it took forever. But I got a bacon Angus burger with tomato, I even asked for it now, but never mind. Bob got a... It wasn't a Reuben, was it? No, but it was something with lots of meaty stuff and cheese and stuff inside. Yeah, I got a chocolate milkshake. He got a wild berry lemonade. lemonade. As he has a Cuban, sorry, not a Reuben. That was close. So let's eat this now that we've got it. Right, we're heading towards Narvi. Actually. Yep. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, it's very nice, the Cuban. It's just very hu hectic, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say humid then, don't know why. Very hectic. The drink was lovely. Yeah, don't be the couple that arrived after us and were at a table that had one chair and instead of when a, a family vacated a four person table took the whole table rather than just a chair so um, then a family four turned up and they couldn't find anywhere to sit down so
just got finished on Navi River Journey. So just avoiding people. Uh, they need to stop cramming two big bottom boys onto a row with two other fully grown adults because that was so uncomfortable. Just you and the big guy, tall guy to my right, didn't bother to close his legs, so I'll get him up to his missus. Yeah. We were told we had to get on with them, so that's all we had to do. So, it was the first time we saw the ride without the shaman working, so they put a screen in her place. We would have inserted that bit, hopefully, just showing you that so you can see it for yourself. Now we're going across to Feathers in Flight, I think it's called. Right. Over by Asia, it's like where Doug and Russell do the birdie thing, I think. We're head across there now, hopefully. It's very busy today, but it's Sunday, so. She did learn some cool animal sounds. Do you want to hear her? Yeah. Okay, so she does like a, like a big scary tiger. <laughs> you got one more. <laughs> Ferocious. It's kind of like post Taco Bell, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if that was too much, we could do the smaller tiger. Would you show them your kitty cat? Yeah. It's like that. Uh, okay, how about one more? Um, a cool bird found in Australia. It's called a kookaburra. <laughs> and it kind of sounds like that. But the animal sounds, they're awesome. But most of what Keto has learned is how to copy human sounds. She grew up around humans instead of other parrots. So would you say good job? <laughs> good job, that's right. Um, she also says some other stuff too, like uh, if it were early in the day, she says good morning. We say good morning. <laughs> that's goodbye. We say good <laughs> No, that's goodbye. Would you say good morning? <laughs> we give them a greeting? <laughs> okay, that's not works. <laughs> okay, can we, can we maybe can we try good, good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Very good. Nice and done. Um, and she does this one thing when people clap. So if you clap, she might, you want to try? That's it. <laughs> um, the last thing that she does, though, that's like super, super awesome in my opinion. I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to let her do it. You ready? Oh, not bad. Good job, though. Ready? Let's sing. Had a farm. 
Good job, Tina. Something bigger. That's a big one. That's a big one. Okay, that's everyone. That's Vlad. He's a pterodactyl. Okay, he's not. Vlad is actually a marabou stork. These birds live in the African savannas. They are one of the largest flying birds out there. That wingspan's about 11 feet across. Right, and the thing that makes marabou storks especially neat is that what they eat out in sub-Saharan Africa is dead stuff. The bald eagle. Everyone, this is home. She's brown a while due to some injury. She couldn't be re-released. That's why she lives with us and tells an amazing story. She wasn't long ago, bald eagle's numbers began to drop. From so low as feared future generations would never get a chance to see these majestic birds out in the wild. That's when something incredible happened. People took notice, they took action, cleaned up the waterways with the bald eagle's fish, stopped using a chemical pesticide DDT. Well, so we just got out of our feathered friends in flight, so that was a good show. Very good, enjoyed yeah. that. Filmed most of it, hopefully we'll have some good stuff to put in the vlog. And then as we were coming out of the show, we looked over and there's two people there and I was thinking, we recognise them. them. And they point to us and we oh, we recognise you. And it was um, Andy and Joe from Park Pioneer on YouTube, which we've watched their videos. They're the ones that we mentioned in our um, other vlog about what we're going to pack in because of the um, owner's, owner's locker. Owner's locker. They're the ones that recommended it that we saw. So um, yeah, it's very nice to have a nice chat with them for five minutes. So about the noise, uh, Kevin's just about to walk by. I'll just show you that while we're stood here quickly. Yeah, this way. Yes, thank and we're going to slide out to the side for me. Yeah. We're going to slide out to the side as we walk through. Had a good chat with them though, good 10 minute chat. And then we all had to go off and get something to drink because thirsty. So I got a cold, we got lemonade, then we're going off to get a slush. So yeah, but it was nice to meet them, nice to chat to them. Hey, famous YouTubers. <laughs> Now we're going to head out the park. We're going to go and see the pool at the resort, hopefully. Yeah, freak out for a little bit. I think we'll have to go to the pool. Yep. And chillax. Hopefully. So we shall catch up with you. But it's a chillax. We'll still catch up with you in a bit. So we've just decided to get in the, uh, come down to the pool. And we've just got into the spa. Here we are. Congress the, the, the pool by, uh, is that what it's called? Congress pool? Or is it just the pool near the Congress area? Yeah. Bob. Has you never seen me before? Just doing a little bit of filming just so you can see what we're doing. We didn't last very long at Animal Kingdom, so. Oh, yeah, the problem is my back got in so much pain that I had to leave as usual. And it got too hot as well. Yeah, Animal Kingdom is one of the hottest parks out there, so it does get very warm. Yeah, so we come down to the pool. Uh, we went into the pool, we'll probably go back in the pool in a bit. Just while the uh, spa was empty, we thought we'd jump in. Yeah, that's been here for 15 minutes at most anyway. Yeah, no one really pleased, is it? But yeah, it's like, you're not meant to be in it very long. Especially your high blood pressure. Yes, Bob. I just don't want to film other people, really, while they're in the pool, because it's like a private thing, being in a pool half naked, basically. But yeah, I thought I'd just, we'd just give you a bit of an update. Uh, we've been relaxing in the room for like a half an hour when we got back. I'm not sure how much as you can hear because of the spa sound, but um, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to continue to relax, then we'll get a drink from the uh, shop. I think I have decided I am going to buy a Magic Band Plus. Because we, when we met Park Pioneer, they had one and they were saying about the, the DVC version of the Magic Band Plus is quite difficult to get. There's only a couple of shops that got them and we've seen them here. So I might get one and apparently they're going to be usable in Disneyland in California as well so that's an extra positive to having one before the prices go up even more. I'm assuming the battery's still working two years time we get it. Well it's chargeable. Those ones you charge. Yeah, the shipping side. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter those are chargeable. Yeah. These ones aren't rechargeable really that's what the issue is with these. But yeah I just thought I'd give you an update and uh, just show you what we're doing. Try not to show off my Body too much because I still don't like my body. I do. No, you do. Oh, you're allowed to. You're sexy. Let's catch up with you in a bit.
two hours later. Right, we had a nice time at the pool. Uh, you would have seen some of it because it did film some on their GoPro. Assuming the uh, footage is any good. So we're now heading to our reservation, walking to Disney Springs. So our building is just there. That one there, you can barely see it. The Disney Springs is there. I'm just going to get a good view of it from here, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. It's just like the bluish building next to the towery bit. Just here. So Bob has looked at the menu this time. So there is some stuff he'll eat there. Which is good, because I was worried that it wasn't going to be again. Should be a relatively nice walk around. See World of Disney in the background. You can see the amphibious cars over there. I say this, I mean I can see them, but they're quite small on the camera, but there's a red one just going past the dock for Boathouse there. This section is meant to be the best section for Disney Springs because it's really close to the walking path. And it's the, what section is it again? Um, community Hall. No. What? Section that we're in. Yeah. Not Community Hall. Conference, uh, com, um, Congress. Congress, sorry. Congress Hall. Not bound with a C, it's close Oh, enough. Congress, yeah. So these water ferries, you can get them back and forth between um, Port Orleans, French Quarter, Riverside, they do Old Key West, and I think there is a stop at Saratoga Springs where we are. There's no point in us getting them though, because we'd have to walk away from where we're going to get them, so. We are going to get them at some point from here. Yes. Because we want to go to the French Quarter in yeah. the next couple of days, before the weather kicks in. Yeah. Hopefully. Just in case bad weather does kick in at the end of the week, we want to do it in the next couple of days. Yeah, we need to get a few supplies in just in case we get, um, what's the word I'm thinking of, locked into our rooms. If it's really bad, they might not want you walking to like the shop or anything. But luckily, because we don't fly till Saturday, it shouldn't affect our flights. In theory. A lot of people have said, let's go to the parks before hurricane. Hmm? Just saying, a lot of people have said the best thing to do is go to the parks before the hurricane because they're dead. Because people go and evacuate. Obviously, not when the hurricane's happening, but the days before or the day before, it'll rain a lot. But the parks will be absolutely dead because people will have left. So, that could be a good tip to get on some rides. It might get wet though. 20 minutes later. We're making the boathouse. We got sat straight away, 10 minutes early. So this is the menu here. Pause it if you want to read it. You can find it online anyway. We've got specials. Whiskies and bourbons. Uh, so yeah, just and then you've got all the drinks on this side. I'm not going to show you all of these because there's loads of it, but um, yeah, there we go. So we haven't decided what we're having yet. Bob's just having a look. Um, we've got some bread though. Just looks nice. It's glazed. I'm not sure what the butter is, but we're going to give this a go and we'll let you know how it is. A few moments later. So the main course just arrived just a minute ago. Bob looked at me funny and I was thinking, what was he looking at me for? We didn't vlog. So Bob's got the shrimp boil. Mm -hmm. uh, but he uh, asked for no corn on the cob and they put extra potatoes on it for him. I've got the uh, andouille sausage mac and cheese, uh, shrimp and andouille sausage mac and cheese. It's very nice, we've both tasted it already. And yours is a milder cheese sauce than usually is, isn't it? Yeah, so normally it comes with a spicy beer cheese sauce, but um, I asked how spicy it was and she said they've got another cheese sauce to get on it, so it's very nice. So I'm going to eat this up now. Just a few. Just a few. Just a few. Just a few. Come back. I don't think so. What's on the end? So you can see a quarter of a pound is 325. Okay, I don't know how much we've done. Milk chocolate and double dip peanuts. The little thingies you like. Mm. Um, raisins, peanuts, milk chocolate raisins, almonds, dark chocolate. No, you just get them. 
Maltesers basically, Maltesers. I need to get those. I wonder if the pucker ups are like sour too. That's what I was thinking. Doesn't say. You might not like them because these are hard sweets, so. Buttered popcorn jelly bellies. It's weird. Well, anyway. Well, we just um, come out of Disney Springs. Uh, we had a nice meal at the boathouse. Oh, it's a beautiful it? meal. Yeah. yeah, it was lovely. We had the. Um, I can't remember what we already said before, but the. Uh, yeah. The. What was it? Not prawn boil, was it? it was shrimp shrimp boil. They don't call boil. it prawns here. Yeah, I don't like um, it. Supposed to be with corn on the cob, cut into three sections in amongst it. But the corn on the cob is disgusting and vile. Any form of sweet corn is. Um, so. She was very happy to change that for some more potatoes from it. It had yep. small red boiled potatoes in it as well. And it was delicious. Yeah. Yeah, and I had, you would have seen, but I had the andouille and shrimp, shrimp and andouille sausage mac and cheese. And the, I asked how spicy the cheese sauce was. And she said that she's got a non spicy one she can substitute it for that with. So she did that for me. And then when it came to desserts, we didn't really like any of the desserts, and we said to any chance we could just get some ice cream. She was absolutely fine, so she was lovely. Didn't catch her name, unfortunately. Soleil. Soleil, okay. So I was thinking, because I had somebody else ask her, mm. and I think, ah, I think it's Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. So it stuck in my head. And she I, was lovely. we gave a good tip for that. Then we went to Boutique, Boutique. I think it's Boutique, is the shop attached to it. It's got boat in it, and it's like Boutique, so I can't remember. And, um, he managed to stop drooling over all the cute male waiters in there for a few minutes. There so was some very attractive, very attractive male waiters and yes. male staff. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then we just popped into the Goofy Candy Shop, or whatever yes. it's called, because when we were here in February, Goofy Candy Co. I think it is. Nearly every shop that sold sweets within Disney had, as we saw in the last series, Goofy's red sour cherry balls. I remember yep. they were, and I absolutely love them cannot find them anywhere this holiday no and we just asked the um, young lady working in the goofy's candy shop and she said they haven't been discontinued they just haven't had them since covid yeah so i'm um, assuming what you had in february must have been like left over last, stock last, yeah um she said but um she's heard that they are in some of the resort shops but we've been through a few of them over the last couple of days and not seen any no so she did i did ask her what else have you got either cherry or sour cherry or sour and she's recommended some um i forgot what they actually were called on yes. it in the little shop there but it's basically a, mi a colored mixture of um, sour apple sour cherry they're sour. hard sweet yeah. so we just have to see what so they're like a, just like a dollar and a half's worth mm -hmm. so i should be trying them a bit later on see how sour they are yeah Go back to some more maybe yeah and so we're just walking back now just walking off the food so i apologize uh, walking off the food we just had. Going to go back to the room, grab our cups, yep. incredible cups. Then we're going to go to reception and go to the shop first to get a refill of the drinks. And a magic band. And maybe a magic band plus. <laughs> um, and then we're going to, I'm going to talk to reception just because I want to check their advice, what's going to happen if the hurricane does hit, um, what we need to know, what we need to prepare for, because we've never really been in a hurricane. Obviously we have had a hurricane in the UK before, we tend to get your tail end of a hurricane now, but... Back in the 1980s when Michael fished the weatherman, I remember yeah. what it was, said it would not be a storm, it'd be a bit distant, you know, passing rain. Yeah. And, and then, half the country is devastated. Yeah. So we're just going to check with them to ask their advice and what happens in Disney, what we need to know, so that we know ahead of time, ready for if it does happen next week. But yeah, I just thought I'd ask. I'm not panicking at all. Just need to know what the advice is from them, from the professionals that work here. Yeah, we'll let you know, we'll update you, and then... We'll probably be signing off not long after that because um, there won't be anything else to update you on. <laughs> but yeah, so we will um, we'll update you as soon as we've got anything else to say to you. So we're back in the room. We've been relaxing for a little bit since we got back from the reception and the shop. Uh, we popped into the shop and I got uh, the new Magic Band Plus. I got the, the uh, Disney Vacation Club one. One thing I didn't realise is the charger that you get with it is like a whole unit on its own so the cable if the cable ever breaks you need to buy the whole charger because I thought maybe they'd have like a USB-C that plugs into it that type of thing but unfortunately it's not so I mean it's similar to like our watch chargers they had like a whole unit but 
Just needs an extra charger to carry around. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, oh, sorry. Now we topped up our drinks and then I popped into reception to have a word with somebody in reception to talk about the hurricane that might be coming. Mm -hmm. He said not to worry. I wasn't really worried, but he explained how Disney's quite good. They'll look after us if it does happen. And uh, they've got like a whole team of 21 people around and they sit in the room all day, every day, that basically monitors situations like that. TV screens run out where the weather pattern's going and yeah. any other natural disasters, anything else. That's why, like, they close pools down if there's a thunder or uh, lightning within 10 miles mm -hmm. he said that they close down all the pools so they basically sit in a room watching the weather and stuff and tracking it and then if it's getting close they'll shut, shut things down so he said to keep the TV on they're always um, keeping contact with you as well Disney they'll um, have it by email I'm really tired um, yeah they're always keeping contact either by email or by the apps or things like that yeah, he said also the t keep the TV on as well because they'll probably make announcements on that if they need to. Yeah, just to say stay in your room or in your yeah. resort or whatever. But he said it's um, the latest that he'd heard is it's they're on we're on the eastern side of where the hurricane's going, yep. um, and it's might, might be it might be going slightly to the west, so we might get some high winds and rain yeah. and a lot of rain, but shouldn't be anything too much. But we'll hear more over the next couple of days. Yeah. He said not to worry. I mean, as I said, I wasn't like majorly worried. I mean, there's been hurricanes here before, so I know they're all used to it. I just wanted to know what the advice was and what kind of, what the process is basically. I kind of like to know these kind of things. Bob's eating his new sweets. Are you enjoying them? Yeah. They're all right now, that's how Okay, and then we won't get any more. Those ones, maybe try a different one, possibly. Oh, that one's a bit sharper. Mm. But yeah, we're just at the moment watching Guardians of the Galaxy 2, or Volume 2, I'm going to call it, and just chilling in the room basically. It's, it's, it's now like 10 or something, so it's quite late. Um, I'm tired, as you can probably tell because I keep yawning. I need to transfer all the footage onto the um, laptop. But yeah, that's about it really for this evening, I think. Anything else you want to add? No, nothing that I can think of. So, as usual, we'll do our little spiel. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please like and comment, because it really helps the video out. And if you want to see more from us, please subscribe. Yep. And then you can follow us on... We're also on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook group. Yep, you can find us from all of those. And we've got a website that you can get to all of those socials as well, which is pubandbeartravels.co.uk or .com. Um, we do hope you've enjoyed it so far. There's still more to come. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to be filming during the hurricane, if there is one, but yeah, keep an eye out for our video and hopefully we can provide you some information if it does happen for future reference for everyone else. Yep. So thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye.